Today I'm going to show you how to make an audio synthesizer using a 555 timer IC chip. So here's the schematic of the circuit that we're going to build. So for this circuit we will make a variable resistor of our own by shading on a piece of paper. I would suggest you to build a circuit based on the schematic in case you find it difficult to follow my instructions. Here's the diagram of the circuit that we're going to build on my breadboard. Place the IC chip in the middle of the breadboard. Insert the battery clip leads into the power rail. Connect pin 1 to the ground rail. Connect pin 2 and 6. Connect the ceramic capacitor into pin 1 and 2. Connect pin 4 to the positive power rail. Connect pin 4 and 8. Put the 4.7 kilo ohm resistor across pin 4 and 7. Connect one of the potentiometer to pin 7. Connect the negative end of the electrolytic capacitor to pin 3. Connect the speaker to the positive end of the capacitor. Connect the other end of the speaker to the ground rail. Connect a jumper wire to pin 2. Now take a piece of paper and darkly shade in a line with graphite pencil. Connect the other end of the potentiometer to uh, the shaded area. Now take the free wire and touch it on the shaded portion of the paper. You should get a buzzing noise. Move it around the shaded area and you should see a frequency change in the noise. By changing the portion where you touch the wire, you could change the noise. How can you tune the sound of the circuit? You can either change the 10 UF capacitor or you could change the resistance of the 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. If you add a capacitor with a larger value, you'll get a deeper tone. Also, if you increase the resistance of the potentiometer, you will get a deeper tone. I hope you guys found this video useful. Let me know if you have any thoughts or suggestions about this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next videos.